In this video, we're going to cover how to create a numerical mode question. The mode of the question determines how you want the student to enter their answer. For this question, we want the student to enter their answer as a number, so let's select numerical mode from this pull-down list. Let's start by entering some simple instructions to the student in the question field. complete the calculation. And now I'm going to type a calculation for the student to complete. Five times three plus seven times two. We need to give the student a place to enter their answer. So this is what we use as a placeholder for where the student will enter their answer. We usually call this the answer blank, and it consists of a less than sign, an underscore, and a greater than sign. Wherever you place this tag, that is where the box will appear for the student to enter their answer. Let's preview the question now by clicking the test preview button. You can see that even though I added some line breaks between the question statement and the calculation by hitting the enter or return key on my keyboard, that's not how it is displaying in the preview. And that is because in order to format the layout and display of the question, you have to use HTML. This BR tag is the HTML code for a line break. I'm going to use two of them to add some vertical white space between the instructions and the calculation. This is the only HTML we will be using to code this question, but look below the video to find a link to a good resource for basic HTML code. Now that I've added these line breaks and clicked the Test Preview button, we can see some vertical white space between the instructions and the calculation. We're still not seeing a place for the student to enter their answer, and that's because we haven't typed anything into the answer field, so let's do that. We have 5 times 3, and that's 15, and 7 times 2 is 14, so we'll enter the answer of 29 in the answer field. Now that I've typed something into the answer blank, when I preview the question, there is a place for the student to enter their answer. Notice that when I click inside of the answer blank, a tooltip is displayed to the student instructing them to enter a number. When you are previewing a question, you can type responses into the answer field and test how they are graded by clicking Submit for Testing. You can apply a tolerance around your numerical answer key by typing Tab surrounded by curly braces followed by a number. The Tab tag separates the numerical answer key from the numerical tolerance. The tolerance will be symmetric about the key. So if I apply a tolerance of 1, the question will accept student responses that are within 1 of the answer key. So in this example, the question will accept 28, 29, 30, or any value between 28 and 30, such as 29.5. Because the answer to this calculation is an exact integer answer, a tolerance of 1 is probably too large, and for most questions like this, you'll want to use a tolerance of 0. Recall that when the tolerance was 1, the tooltip was displaying to the student, enter a number. If I change the tolerance to 0, which will require the student to type in only the number 29 to get the answer correct, the tooltip that is displayed to the student is enter an exact number. The application sees that you are using a tolerance of zero and tells the student that they're expecting an exact answer. And you can see that the only answer that is accepted is a 29 and anything other than a 29 is marked wrong. 